An investigation is underway in North Lawndale after 15 people were shot Sunday at a Halloween party. Authorities say two people remain in critical condition and police have arrested a suspect. WGN's Andrea Medina is live at CPD headquarters with the details. Andrea. Jenna, charges against the man police have arrested in connection to the shooting are still pending. But in the meantime, police have teamed up with a North Lawndale nonprofit to bring a critical resource to the community and help those impacted by this weekend's tragedy. Posting flyers on doors or handing it in people's hands, Mike Trout, the executive director of the Young Men's Educational Network, is getting the word out about CPD's plan to open an emergency assistance center in his building following a Halloween party mass shooting in North Lawndale on Sunday. It's disconcerting when you wake up in the morning and you hear that 15 people have been shot in your neighborhood and then to realize that it was right across the street from your youth organization. The Crime Victim Assistance Program will take place on Tuesday. With the help of Y-Men and other local organizations, CPD will offer one day of crisis counseling, financial loss guidance, therapy dogs, and additional social services to those who have been impacted by Sunday's gun violence and similar incidents. When you're affected by trauma or difficulties, that is a time to lean in, not away. The shooting happened on Sunday around 1 a.m. at Studio 1258, which sits at the corner of 13th Street and Pulaski Road. According to police, the building had been operating events without a license. Police say the gunfire erupted when a man attending the party became upset after being kicked out. On Monday, the Chicago police issued a summary closure, determining the establishment presents a danger to the public. Before this incident, I'd like to think that the 1200 block of South Pulaski is one of the best in the neighborhood. Um, like I said, we have two churches, two schools, a nonprofit organization, and, and young people are flourishing and thriving on this. That's why Trout doesn't want this violent incident to be a representation of his beloved community. With the 400 children that come on this block every day to go to school or to come to the after school programs and we want them to know that we're not going anywhere. This will continue to be a safe place and space. He hopes the services that will be offered tomorrow will help those heal and be a step forward in stopping the cycle of violence. Please come and sit down with us and share your story. We want to hear from you. We want to wrap our arms around you. We want you to know that we are better together. For those seeking to get help, the Emergency Assistance Center will be open from noon until 7 p.m. tomorrow. We're live outside CPD headquarters. Andrea Medina, WGN News.